My name is Dr. Rose Misati. I'm a public health specialist, behavior change expert, certified life coach, relationships counselor, and parenting coach. I'm a director of Effective Parenting Company Limited. Uh, we help people deal with their past hurt so that they can learn to manage their feelings, handle conflict, clarify life goals as they lead so that they can lead effective lives as they enjoy fulfilling relationships. How does trauma affect relationships? We are wired for relationships. Human beings are wired for community. That's why when we are going through a, a, a traumatic event, even a minor one as a people, you find we want to come together. There's something therapeutic. When we come together as a people to connect, either as individuals or as a community, we release hormones you know, oxytocin, the bonding hormones, it makes us feel better. That is true for human beings and that is true for mammals. So now here is a situation where people have gone through trauma and they are getting into relationships. This is when we say um, unlike charges attract or opposites attract. So let's begin with a common uh, trauma response that is normally seen as an, the nice person. This nice person, they have exhibited partly phone response, whereby we call them codependents. A codependent is a caretaker, somebody who is caretaking, the helper, the one who is always there. Helping is a good thing. However, I want you to see the difference. Codependency is a compulsive trauma response. The person is addicted to people. They are addicted to being needed. They are looking for anything and anybody they can take care of. And it's not necessarily really that it gives them a good feeling, it gives them an addictive feeling. So they, they deny themselves, they go out of their way, literally they go flat, helping other people to the extent of their health and to the extent of even their own families. So these codependents end up being abused in their own families, okay? Now, when it comes to relationships, you will find a codependent attracts either somebody who is emotionally unavailable, somebody who is never there for them. Sometimes they can attract somebody who is mentally unwell. So you will find the person they are relating with is mentally unwell, so they are put in a lifelong process of caregiving or caretaking, somebody who is unable to take care of themselves, okay? So, and all this I'm saying, most of the time is subconscious. They don't plan, you find yourself there. They might also be attracted to people who are um, addicted. People who are addicted to drugs or to alcohol. And here they play the enabling role, whereby they're the ones taking them to rehab, you know, they're the ones waiting upon them. This is a relationship of a codependent who is with an addicted or broken person. Now, how does that play out in a romantic relationship? I, I should add that another category of people that a codependent will attract are narcissistic people. So a codependent will get attracted to this person who is in charge, you know, who is in control. And this phenomena has been studied. It's actually called the human magnet. There's a book, I forget the author, but there's a book called The Human Magnet, where a codependent and a narcissist or somebody who is emotionally unavailable, somebody who is addicted, or somebody who is mentally ill, they get married. Before they get married, they are in a, in a relationship, they are courting, they are dating. This is your Cinderella type of relationship. Happily ever after, out of this world, fairy tale. And everything seems to work because the codependent is here, caring, nurturing, giving and giving and giving. And this narciss narcissistic person is very controlling and very in charge. And the codependent feels, you know, the person is in charge and the codependent is the one who is taking care of everything. When they get married, things fall apart. Most of the time, in my experience, the person who comes to reach out for help is the codependent because they feel overwhelmed. So the codependent will reach out. This is just a typical scenario I've experienced in my work. The codependent will reach out because they are spent out. So when they reach out, they begin to learn, they begin to heal from their codependence, and now they reach a point they can actually put boundaries. Remember, a codependent is boundaryless. They don't know where they end and where the other person begins. So when they begin to heal and they're putting boundaries, they destabilize the equilibrium. The relationship can no longer hold. And the narcissist 
becomes angry. They say, you have changed. You're no longer taking care of me. You're no longer malleable. You're no longer following what I'm telling you. And in Kiswahili, they say, kichongumu. And so the relationship may end or the narcissistic person might also decide to heal from their trauma. If they decide to heal, the relationship becomes beautiful. However, if they choose not to heal, because again, you cannot dictate or you cannot make anybody, you know, take the path of healing. Because again, it, 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 it's a path that is not easy. It's painful. The relationship might actually end because the codependent now puts boundaries. They can no longer take this. It's a good thing for them because they begin to reclaim their joy, their happiness, their health. And the people around them are held accountable. In case you notice that you need help, uh, you may have gone through a traumatic experience or as I have spoken, you feel you can identify with some of the things. Leave the comment below, we will get back to you. Please feel free to share this video to other people so that it can help. Sharing is caring. Let's have a healed community. That way we can enjoy healthy and fulfilling relationships with everybody. I normally say I'm not okay until the other person is okay. So even if you're okay and the other person is not okay, we are not okay. So please leave a comment. We will get back to you. We will be glad to be with you.